as you started going through the process of making and starting to create a product, you know, one of my favorite questions to ask founders is, what did you uncover as you're realizing like, oh, all these companies are, are marketing it this way, or this is bogus, or this is completely false advertising as it relates to sun protection. What are some of those things that you started to uncover here with the US market? When I first started, I bought every single mineral sunscreen off the shelf that I could find. When you said mineral sunscreen, what's the difference between mineral and regular sunscreen? So really simply, I mean, mineral has two active ingredients. They are zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Those are the two, only okay. two ingredients. That is your mineral sunscreen. You will have, you know, inactive ingredients to help it roll out and rub in nicely. But ultimately, when you're looking for a mineral sunscreen, if you turn over the back of the ingredient panel, it's your zinc and it's your titanium dioxide. And the other difference between a mineral versus a chemical is a mineral sunscreen actually sits on the skin. So it isn't absorbed into the skin like your chemical sunscreen. So often, you know, people think they have to sit and wait for 10 minutes before going, you know, or 20 minutes before going in the water. With a physical sunscreen, because you're putting it on your skin and it's there, you can actually just go in, get, get in the water. So the kind of the difference, I love the minerals just because I like to think that they sit on my kid's skin and nothing is absorbed. So I pulled out every single mineral sunscreen and I put it in my empty bottles and I tried it. And what was really interesting for me here is all the claims. In Australia, if you want to claim anything, you have to have research and you have to have information behind it. You just can't go and make claims about things without having anything backed up. And so I quickly realized that because my product was one of a kind, because I have something very innovative, I really wanted to make sure that everything I did was backed up because I felt that if I wasn't going to get in trouble with the authorities, I was going to get in trouble with my competitors because they would find something, you know, that perhaps I hadn't done, done right. So I really, my emphasis on very much everything we claim, we don't claim anything that we're not. We are very transparent and I see across the board a lot of that is just not happening. For example, you know, sprays seems to be very common across companies where you get an SPF 50, you know, when you do the testing and it comes back and they say the SPF rating is 50. They will put it out as a 50, but they'll also market it as a 30 because you can do that as long as it's below what it was approved. So a consumer can go into a store and think, oh, SPF 30, awesome, I'm going to take that because I really don't think I need SPF you know, 50 protection. Or maybe the idea is, the perception out there is that SPF 50, mineral, because there's more zinc or titanium dioxide in it, that you know it's gonna be thicker and it's gonna be harder to rub in. So those are the sort of things that I just look at and I go, oh my goodness. And that is why my product, I have two formulations. I have one in market right now. And I believe that a mineral sunscreen is like a recipe. There's only so many which ways you can put it in. So my mission was why not create a beautiful formulation that rubs in nicely and try to keep it within a good price point, which is difficult, and then market to my audience with my labels. And you know, quite frankly, I don't mind what's on my label as long as it's not offensive and it's engaging to that audience. So. I launched with two babies and four kids line. And those four kids came from my heart. There were two designed by my two kids, the little blue one, all fun and games. It has surfboards and skateboards. My son was into that at the time. And my the little aqua one, which is making waves, which is, has the orca whales and all the marine life because my daughter is a real animal, you know, really loves marine life and animals. And the other two were by, my, uh, designed by my co-founder. And we call them our four little personalities because they were, you know. It's about making that sunscreen come alive. It's about branding to your audience and trying to make it simple and easy. So, you know, I feel like that is what I don't see here is the transparency. It's the love. It's trying to engage with people. And, and you know, really ultimately, I'm trying to make it easy. And I don't see that with sun care, especially here. It's difficult. It's messy. It's not that innovative.